So here in Oklahoma, we're home of the uh, fire jet, which you see behind us, as well as the large Kratos XQ-58 Valkyrie. So why is the Valkyrie so important? Well, it is a new technology that can actually communicate with old technology. For example, it is uh, like a loyal wingman. It can keep up with the jet fighter. So basically it's a, it's a miniature jet fighter that has its autonomous. The fire jet's used to be shot at. It's used to ensure the defense systems can knock out an enemy threat. So it mimics an enemy threat. It's a training tool for our military and they shoot at it. So we don't shoot at the, at the Valkyrie. It's used for different purposes. My name is Cameron Bright. I'm the uh, platform lead for the XQ-58 Valkyrie, which is the big one that you see right behind us. There's a lot, a lot, a lot of parts that go into this. At the end of the day, I look over and I get to see the actual parts getting put onto the plane and see it go from this small little part that I had to approve to this big aircraft that you see behind us. Uh, I have been obsessed with airplanes and aerospace ever since I was uh, a little kid. I've just always wanted to be hands-on with them. I used to want to be a pilot, but as I grew up, I realized that I like to actually build the planes more than I'd like to fly them. My big hobby is to uh, build um, first-person drones. They have the whole goggles and everything that you can fly around. They're a lot of fun. Then I come up here, and the one that I get to work on personally here is uh, 30 feet long, whereas the ones I'm working with at home, like I said, are about eight inches long. I build airplanes, but out of carbon fiber. It's uh, five times lighter than steel, five times stronger. Uh, we can build pretty much anything from the size of a deck of cards to the size of a full-size truck. You know, we make some of the most cutting-edge things that, that people have ever seen, uh, all in-house, usually in a very, very short uh, period of time. And it's a, a huge team effort, and that's, that's the kind of thing that gets us out of bed in the morning. So I've never had a bad day at work. So it got me involved in aviation. Uh, I was part of the United States Civil Air Patrol in Kansas City. Then kind of uh, pursued a career in uh, aviation maintenance, uh, attended Spartan College for Aeronautics and Technology. Uh, went back and, and looked uh, at some aviation careers and found one right down the road here in Oklahoma City. The fabricating and the knowledge I acquired going to uh, tech school enabled me to do that job very well. We have a, a local tech center that we we get involved with the Francis Tuttle Technical Center. We've helped provide some training curriculum. We also uh, sent over six laminating tools that they can practice on. We're very luckily, the last class that graduated, we had three hires that we brought in, but it gives them a head start on getting involved in Kratos and understanding how to laminate product, and as well as they have a sheet metal class and that, that, that's very helpful in our bonding. Um, we actually start them at a higher pay if they've been a graduate from, the, from Francis Tuttle. This is exciting to me because when I was a student, I was not the straight A student. I was not the top of my class, but I was always working hard. And especially when I was in group projects or whenever we were in the lab, that's where I always got to excel. This whole thing is just one giant puzzle. And it's very, it's fun to be able to work through. It's about being able to stick with it. It's about hard work, dedication, teamwork. And so I don't want any students out there that are getting bad grades or struggling in their classes to think that that's everything, because it's not. There's more to it than that. And stick with it, grind it out, and, and you'll be happy with it one day.